For more videos, visit for the sake of education.com or support me at patreon.com forward slash Daxter Bells. All right, guys, let's determine the required magnitude of the couple moments m2 and m3 so that the resultant couple moment is zero. This problem is very easy. I'm going to use this x and y orientation in case you're wondering what you want to do in these kinds of problems is just divide each of the vectors in a cartesian vector form build equations and solve them so we have m1 we have m2 and we have m3 and we're going to write the cartesian vector forms m1 is going straight down at with a magnitude of 300 newtons so it's zero on the i minus 300 in the j simple m2 is given by the magnitude of m2 times the cosine of 45 in the i plus m2 times sine of 45 in the j because m2 has a magnitude that goes that way and a magnitude that goes that way and they're given by these two factors that I uh, that I put right here and lastly m3 is going straight to the left so it's minus m3 in the i plus 0 in the j and when you add them up they're telling you that the resultant couple moment is 0 so all you got to do is add the i's add the j's together and you get your equations if you add 0 plus m2 cosine of 45 minus m3 equals to 0 it looks something like this m2 cosine of 45 minus m3 is equal to 0 and for the other one is minus 300 plus m2 sine of 45 is equal to 0 and there's only one variable in the second one so you can solve for m2 right away when you do you get that m2 is equal to 424.3 newton meters and when you plug that into this equation you can find m3 and m3 comes out to be exactly 300 newton meters final answer for m2 and final answer for m3 super simple problem guys please comment below if you want me to do any problems and i'll be happy to help thank you